disclaimer alert, chatbot and bots are street names for this technology. Officially, they're known as Conversational User Interfaces, CUI, or Conversational User Experience, CUX. A critical first step for successful CUX development is to analyze and design the user experience. Now, in the context of a chatbot, user experience, or UX, encompasses any interaction between people and technology within the bot. UX design and business analysis techniques are essential to define how we want our users to experience our chatbot. Paradoxically, user experience design starts with knowing our, or defining our business objectives. Although the user experience is customer focused, ITBAs need to know what's in it for the organization. In the end, the bot has to ensure that whatever we deliver to the customer helps our business achieve its goal. A bot is an interface between consumers or potential customers and the organization. It has to meet the organization's goals. The bot can only do that if it's accepted and used effectively by the end users. You need to recognize the business problems the solution needs to address because that is how the bot will satisfy both business needs and user goals for the selected target audience. Once again, ITBA is to the rescue because given today's smartphones, tablets, touch screens, voice activation, and so on, there are so many ways that we interact with technology that UX design becomes a much more complicated issue. And the problem is, bad user experiences causes users to quit. If your bot doesn't satisfy their need, they're gonna find a different way of getting what they want. You're gonna lose a customer. When we talk about UX and bots, it's important to, for you to understand who your target audience is, what the user's goals are, and what motivates them to use your chatbot. And by the way, once they start, how do you make sure that they have the best possible user experience so they're gonna tell their friends about it? I don't know about you, but to me, all those questions sound a whole lot like the bread and butter information that we as ITBAs deal with constantly. The answers have to come from the business community. Human communication tends to follow a natural flow. The better you are at maintaining that flow in your chatbot conversation, the more users will be comfortable using the bot. So if you have a conversation with a friend, with your buddy, you don't spend a whole lot of time designing it. It has a natural flow. But if you need to ask your boss for a raise or ask somebody for a date, you stage the conversation first. You think about what you want to say. You want to set the right tone and you want to use the right words to increase the odds of getting the outcome you want. When you design a directed chat bot, you have to make a conscious decision about the flow every step of the way. What should the bot ask? What, should the answer, uh, what answers should the bot expect? And what do you expect the user to understand? What's their language? This is the essence of conversation flow as opposed to chatting with a buddy. If you're dealing with a bot, the conversation flow has to be designed to achieve the desired outcome. Now, the first rule for designing the, developing the, the flow of the conversation is to get the users to the right goal with minimal choices. So you only ask questions that are pertinent to their goal. Uh, you want the minimum number of questions needed for the bot to recommend the current solution. In dealing with chatbots, people who had a bad experience with a chatbot tend to lose any desire to interact with one, so they're going to try their best to get to a human as quickly as possible. People that are insecure about what the chatbot offers try to get to a human. As human beings, we're really used to talking to other humans. How you sequence a chatbot's decision points is extremely important. And the problem is, the correct sequence depends on the defined business goal. There are three generic and common goals for chatbots. Lead generation chatbots are likely to have very limited interaction with the visitor before they gather you know, name, email, address, telephone, and general contact information. For individuals seeking a product, a retail sales bot is best because it'll try to direct visitors to the product or service they need. If you're developing or uh, designing a, a CUX for social media platforms, 
Your objective is to keep the visitor occupied with your chatbot as long as possible. And to do that, the sequence of steps has to be more teasing, more tantalizing to keep them engaged. The only people that can tell you the goals of the chatbot are really the people in the business community doing the job. So the salespeople, trainers, or order takers, and so on, handle the process that the bot is going to support from the business side. Bottom line, data science, machine learning, and AI are just technologies. Figuring out how your organization can leverage them to uh, succeed is still your job. You're going to have to learn some new ways of expressing what the business wants to communicate with the specialists in each area. But learning new tools of communication is your job anyway. Sounds to me like another great reason for you to look forward and brighter future for ITBAs.